Welcome to another edition of Chris Wrestling Views. Um, today, we're going to be doing another video over the possible outcomes of who I think would be, uh, well, not who I would be, but uh, possible outcomes of what would happen at TLC tomorrow night, which is hours away, I'll say maybe 24 hours away or so, um, of what we think would happen um at TLC and who we think we already said who we win in one of our uh, in one of our other videos we did a little video over that uh but we'll say what we think what would happen to each match and you know what outcome will be so AJ so we'll we'll go back and forth um of what we think might happen so AJ Styles versus Drew McIntyre for the um WWE championship what I would think would happen in that match would be uh, AJ winning uh, because I could say Sheamus may will try to come out and um, and help AJ Styles or something and end up costing Drew McIntyre the uh, championship or they can do something like where Sheamus will come out pretend like he's going to hit AJ but broke, but the referee get taken out by almost or whatever that guy's name. I call him almost because that's what um Riddle calls him, and um you know end up uh kick, kicking um Drew McIntyre in the head, and then you know being on AJ's side, and then they'll possibly have a match between uh Drew McIntyre and and um and Sheamus. All right, you can go ahead, Detour. Uh, I see. I see a AJ winning, but I I see AJ winning by you know interference, maybe old dog, uh, almost, but I call him old dog. Uh, is it interfering either by? Interfering by on purpose or interfering by help by Seamus, you know, them scuffling and, you know, and then he just gets mad and then want to take everybody out. And then AJ finishing off with his finishing move with the referee distracted. Uh, but at the end of the day, you know, AJ going to win. And then they'll have to do their little rematch with some stipulations. Right. But the end okay. of the end of, end of day, AJ will probably win. All right. So let's go with another match. Let's go with uh Sasha Banks versus Carmella. Um in my opinion in that <coughs> in that match, um I think that um how they they can do this both ways where they would have Sasha, you know, get beat down so bad and then um end up having um you know Carmel you know like I said Carmelo would have the advantage I mean and uh maybe Sasa pulls out the victory some kind of way because I feel like you know it's a little bit too early to put the title on uh Carmela even though you know she had it before when she won the Miss Money in the Money in the Bank um briefcase at one point when she had, um, you know, help from uh, James Ellsworth. Well, I, 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 I think Carmella could win it uh, by interference um, because you guys, Sasha, she's coming unhinged. She's coming right. unhinged, and they could run a little heel turn with Sasha because you know she's been. Her whole career, she's been playing face. Well, not her whole career, but uh, most of her career, she's been playing face. So they they get um, ch gonna probably gonna uh, try to switch it up. Um, because a lot of her, a lot of stuff been going on in her last part of her career between Bailey and everything, thinking taking her advantage of it. So they might change her her stuff up like they changed Bailey up. Yeah, that's so they might 
might take it off of her for just a week or so and Carmar Carmilla lose it back again to Sasha because you know that got that rematch clause. Right. And they right. And if um Sasha does lose, what they can also do is uh have it, you know, on this week's uh SmackDown where they'll have a confrontation with each other and then you know uh you know then Sasha Banks she'll she'll be like okay we can um we can go tonight or whatever like that then you know in, that end up being the match and then uh whether Sasha uh gets the belt back or um uh, Carmella you know whatever way WWE decides to do it because they don't want to try to make it so predictable. Yeah, right now, see, I see it as a few because I think only reason why I say that she might win is because there's nobody in SmackDown that I could think of that I know of that there's gonna that they could really give the belt to. So if uh, since Carmella was the mystery woman, they might give it to her, and they could start a short feud, and so they could bounce that um around like i said the rematch clause so they could bounce it around for a second just like they did between bailey and sasha right so they could back, bounce it around for at least two weeks and then call up uh i don't know who they're gonna call up or whoever comes back and i don't know and then give a championship chance to them but it is who it is but i think carmella is gonna win one Okay, cool, cool. So we got uh the New Day versus the Hurt Business. Um, they can possibly go with the Hurt Business, like I said in the uh video of our prediction video that we made. Uh, that the Hurt Business, you know, they could pick up those uh tag team titles from the New Day, and um, you know, maybe New Day win it back. I don't know. Uh, but like like I'm thinking, like I said, the her vision is gonna win uh those um raw tag team championships. Uh I think the her bin is gonna win too. Um because I I just think a lot of people been seeing the new day a lot with that belt. It's too long. And the new day probably wanna get a rest. Cause you've been seeing like uh Kobe. Kobe Kingston, he don't even really want to wrestle. He kind of want to take a rest. Right. And um, I, I think I think he I think he possibly hurt his leg or something as well. And yeah, they right. Even though they don't I, I, I yeah. kind of think I think so too. I think that both of them are been playing injured, man. And he, even if Xavier Woods ain't injured, he I think he it's time for him to take a singles run. Yeah. So I I think uh the uh, hurt Ben is gonna win the championships, and uh, they might take a, a maybe a week, maybe a month rest, and so they could get their body back in shape. Right, that's good. That's good. Um, so um, next we have uh the Street Profits versus Ziggler and Rude. Um, all four of these competitors are great competitors. Um. In this match, I can see um, Ziggler and Rude possibly, you know, winning, picking up an upset victory um, over the Street Profits because you know how Dirty wants you to think one way that, oh, the Street Profits is going to win. But then again, they twisted around a couple of hours before the show hits and decide to put the, uh, put the SmackDown tag team uh titles on um Ziggler and Root. Right. I think you are right. Um exactly right. Um so I, I kind of think uh the street props are gonna lose their belt and they just gonna have to uh, suck it up in a cup overnight. Yeah. And <laughs> they just gonna have to suck it up over the cup overnight and, and think about where they want the strategy and then go for a rematch <laughs> and hope that they get that belt back later on. Yeah, maybe they'll, like I said, maybe they'll do it 
you know, maybe they'll do it just like where they um, do it on the following, on that following night on Raw, or maybe they do it a week later or something like that, as they know, you know, as normally WWE does. In fact, it would be better for WWE to make more money. So that's probably where they're going to go. Yep. Uh, next match we have. Let's go with um. Let's go with the the Fiend versus Randy Orton. Um, in this match, I can see where the Fiend will have um, you know, have his momentum going and everything like that, and um, Orton, you know, comes back a little bit, and then the lights turns off. And then Alexa Bliss, you know, then Alexa Bliss, you know, she's out there and um, they can, you know, and then they can do like where uh, Orton, you know, is, you know, is holding Alexa Bliss on his shoulder or, you know, or have her trapped in some type of a little cage thing or something. Then the Fiend gets weakened out and then, you know, Randy Orton uh, some kind of way uh, steals the victory. And, you know, possibly some kind of way to keep that feud going between uh, Randy Orton and The Fiend. I could see, a, um, I could, I could picture that. Um, I picture uh, Alexis finally going her full, you know, her little, little Fiend character, which I would <laughs> be happy to see it instead of them playing, playing around. <laughs> right. Uh, but I think I think the fiend's gonna pull this through. I think it's gonna be a long, a long. It's this this match probably gonna be the the long one during the whole pay per view. Right. Just to cut. I, I, yeah. Just to close up some of those uh, short title um, victory uh, matches as well too. Right. Right. I think this is gonna be the the long one in the long matches out of the whole thing. So, all but, right. Uh, she's gonna she's she, she gonna have some kind of part in it. She's either gonna they're gonna have either some images, effects, or and she she's gonna uh get in the way somehow. But I think she's gonna show her little full personality this time. Right. And um and with this and w- within this match, you know. Uh, they say it's some type of inferno match, which I don't think it'll probably be like a inferno inferno match, but it's probably that's that's being reported that they said it was going to be something where it was like the thing what they did with John Cena, but um, I guess they're going to be in a little dark um, roadish light thing or something like that and make it look like they're outside and um, do mm-hmm. some yeah and do something that way and then you know like Alexa Bliss can appear up uh somewhere out there and uh she's gonna probably tell Fiend uh help or you know change her way some kind of way um this match right this next match right here uh has been reported to be added to the card if it has not already been added it's gonna be Riddle versus Lashley um what I can see in this match um if WWE don't scrape this match at the last couple of hours before the show, uh, is Riddle versus Lashley. And what I think in that match, um, that Riddle can pick up this United States um, championship and take it off of Lashley. Not, you know, not because of, you know, not because of him just being Riddle or, um, you know, with him signing that new deal or anything. But I can, you know, I can see that some kind of way that um, Riddle is going to pick up this uh, U.S. Uh, championship victory over Lashley, and maybe they can put Lashley in a different, you know, title scene. So hopefully they can do something with the WWE title picture, but I don't think they're going to do it uh, anytime soon. So, you know, maybe he'll just take a little time away or maybe he'll do something else, but, you know, who knows uh, with the WWE, but you know, is what it is. Oh, uh, you know, like you like you said, WWE is so iffy. 
Um, I would like them to do something with Riddle, but you know, Riddle have so so many legal issues. He has so many legal issues lately, so they probably won't put no belt on him right now. But they they they're probably trying to see how the crowd would is um, reacting to him. But they probably I don't think they're gonna put no belt on him right now. Just mm-hmm. on the fact of what he done legal wise. Okay, okay. Cause they, cause they, they, um, they're probably scared of you know what if we put a belt on him, what if he goes to jail or, or something like that? Cause you know they, they kind of, cause you gotta realize they got Jeff Hardy. Well, they ain't done no Jeff Hardy. <laughs> right, and they, they didn't really, done. yeah, and they didn't keep that on. They didn't keep that Intercontinental Championship uh, on them too, on him too long either. And they needed Sami Zayn back, so they had to give it back to Sami Zayn because there was nobody else. Right. So I mean, but you know, I'm I'm gonna say, I really want to say Riddle because Riddle got speed, he got heart. But as soon as Bobby gets him into a corner, it's a wrap. It's a wrap. As soon as he <laughs> you get a, he puts a clothesline on him, it's a wrap. Right, right. <laughs> and that, <laughs> right. I'm just gonna say Bobby and get it over with. <laughs> okay. Um let's see. Um Reigns versus Kevin Owens. Oh, I can see this. I can see this going in. Many different ways. Oh man, I can see this going to where they can have um, Kevin Owens win, but the swerve will be to have um, to have Paul Heyman uh, do something because it's been it's been reported uh, for the past week or two that uh, Vince McMahon. Uh, feels that Roman Reigns doesn't need Paul Heyman in his corner, and um, you know it's you know it's time for Paul Heyman to move on to someone different, probably, and um, for them to have um, for them to have Kevin Owens pick up the uh, title victory over uh, Roman Reigns with having Paul Heyman to turn on Roman Reigns. And maybe Jay Uso tries to come and help or something like that, and um, he, de- you know, and maybe Reigns declines, declines uh, Jay uh, Uso helping tell him to get out of here or something like that. And um, no, like I said, I can see Paul Heyman definitely turning on Reigns and uh, Kevin Owens picking up uh, his uh, WWE uh, Universal uh, Championship. To close out um December. Well, to close out the year actually. Uh now I can see it going both ways. I could I can see it both ways going both ways. Now the thing is uh, I see Jay turning on on him the most. More than Paul Heyman because Paul Heyman don't got nothing to benefit from it. And the reason why I say Paul Heyman don't have nothing to benefit from because if he turns on him, he don't have won't he won't have no client. Every time he turns on somebody, he has a client to turn to. Right. Cause every time he like remember when he turned on somebody last time he turned from uh Cesaro to CM Punk, to CM Punk to Brock Lesnar, Brock Lesnar back to CM Punk, back from CM Punk to back to Brock Lesnar. He has a client. He don't have a client this time. Unless we, next thing, unless we know, hey, Brock Lesnar was going to surprise us and turn up at T- TLC. Yeah, and they, pro- and they probably can um, have him to attack Roman or something like that. Put them through a yeah. table, announce table. I mean, or they can, um, you know, because Paul Heyman to has to match. Yeah, because Paul Paul Heyman has to make money somehow because they really 
the real thing issue is they don't need Paul Heyman. It's not that they don't need Roman Reigns. They don't need Paul Heyman. <laughs> right, right. That's the that's the issue. They don't really need Paul Heyman. So, okay, their big thing is they'll say, "Oh, Paul Heyman is a mastermind," and we we stuck Paul Heyman on uh, what is it? Oh, talking smack. They don't need him. They don't need him except on po- talking smack. They sure. really don't need him walking down the ramp with Roman Reigns. They mm-hmm. have anybody be a manager for Roman Reigns. Yeah, I mean they can even they like I, like they can just have his cousin Jay or Jay yeah, or Jay and Jimmy. Or they could call Rakishi if you if they really want to get so desperate. Yeah. They can, or I mean, yeah. so. Like I said, could Rakishi even say that he wants if they really want to do the dynasty, the um the dynasty uh storyline, he wants to he's all in for it. So like I said, I don't know how I feel about the theory about oh Paul Hammond is gonna turn because I'm not sure about oh yeah, it, who is his client gonna be after that. Because Kevin Owens, people is not backing the Kevin Owens thing. Right, right. Because to me, it looks like he's wrestling her every single day. It looks like he's he's a risk. He looks like, to me, he's a risk. Because ever since he jumped off the stadium, uh, that stadium on the Shane McMahon, he looked like he hurt his ankle. He looked like he hurt his ankle, and he looked like he'd been... Um, wrestling hurt ever since then. So I'm, I'm like, because every match after that, he ain't really been wrestling the same. Right. He's been wrestling slow and everything else. I'm like, bro, what, what's going on? So I'm like, I don't know. So he's lucky to be even in this match. To me, right. to me, he's lucky to be in this match. I really, to be honest, if I'm perfectly honest, I don't even want to watch this match. Wait. I don't even want to watch this match because Kevin Owens ain't nobody to me. He's not. He's to me, he's another Bill Goldberg. Huh. That's how that's how much I think of this match. And I really don't, and if I see this match, then I, I definitely don't want to watch Goldberg versus Reigns if Reigns if Reigns still do keep the um, championship uh after TLC tomorrow night. And, and and you know they claim Bill Goldberg is supposed to be showing up on uh, if he keeps the belt. Like oh, I said, man. the the booking is crazy. They talking some they talking some craziness, and they say that if, even if uh, Kevin Owens does win the belt, he's gonna lose it right back to Reigns. That's a waste of time. Yeah, they don't have no faith in. Him. They don't have no faith in Kevin Owens. So mm. what? That's a waste of time. It's a waste of time to yeah. build up to build up, you know, Roman Reigns so his character, his new character, I'm talking to his heel character so much to lose it to Kevin Owens. Kevin Owens might as well be going to war against Bobby Lashley. I'd rather see that match. I'm yeah. serious. Me too. Reigns versus Lashley. That that is a match I would definitely want to see. Um at WrestleMania, if they decide to do, and I hope WWE can book that because we need something fresh and we need something new. Even though they're doing something fresh and new right now, we're having Reigns versus Owens, but you know that's really not like pay per view buy. If WWE um, was still doing like the pay per view thing and not the WWE Network thing. Oh no, I'm I'm just saying as in far as belt wise, if it was belt wise, I'd rather see, uh, belt quality. I'd rather see Owens trying to get that belt and Bobby Lashley trying to get Reigns belt. No, because I, I mean, because Bobby Lashley ain't even got a title shot. He's been there for I don't know how long. Like I said, that irritates me. But I can't do nothing about it. <laughs> yeah. It is. You know, that kind of... But anyway, I, I think uh, Roman... Oh, God. I think Roman Reigns is going to, you know, 
like I said, it, it's supposedly it should be like a squash. If you when you think realistic, it should be a squash match. And but this going to be an interference somehow, somehow, some way. It's going to be an interference. Yeah, yeah. Jay's going to come down there. I know Jay's going to be down there somehow. Yep. It may be. I think Jim, I think Jimmy's going to show up too. I think Jimmy's going to show up. Right. Yeah, even though, like, like, then again, I take that back. I kind of do agree with you about, you know, with them, uh, if Owens does win, they're not keeping the championship on them um, for a long time or anything. But I did hear a thing uh, a couple of weeks ago uh, that has reported that um, Vince McMahon doesn't want to keep uh, Reigns as champion, though. And shoot. Now I, I heard that I heard that too, but he they also said he bringing on the money, but they got to keep him a championship because he's bringing in money because they don't have nobody else on on that TV show quality to bring in money. Right. You got to realize Vince is about money. He don't care about the person. He cares about the money. That's true. He cares about those Benjamin Franks. <laughs> yep. yep all of that um so we got um the next and final match right here would be uh naya Jax and Shayna baszler versus oscar and who would her partner be uh what would be the outcome of this match which i already know that naya and baszler are going to lose the women's tag team championships for sure. Um, Oscar opponent, I can see that they're probably going to have, if I had to guess, um, maybe Mandy Rose or Dana Brooke, or they could have um, uh, Eva Marie or uh, Ronda Rousey or Charlotte Flair. Or something like that. Have them to win. Have, if they do have Charlotte, what I can see them doing is to uh, have Charlotte and um, Oscar pick up the victory over them. But Charlotte tells Oscar that she wants what's around Oscar's waist, and um, whoever is teaming up with Oscar, they're gonna uh, win those women's tag team championships. I f I feel exactly the same. Because you got to, I don't know if people um are paying attention. Nia Jax is a risk. She's a risk to the company. And she's a risk to the wrestlers that she wrestles with. Yeah. Um, as far as who Asa is going to rescue, um, as going to be her partner, it could be her uh, Charlotte Flair. Or Dana Brooks. Uh, that's my my two best bet, um, bets. Yeah, Charlotte Flair or Dana Brooks. Okay, okay. A lot of people want to say, uh, well, what's her name, Ronda Rousey? I don't think so because she wants that big payday. She's yeah. one. She's like a. Yeah, she's like a Brock Lesnar. She wants that big payday. So, since there ain't gonna be no big payday with people in the stadium buying T-shirts and everything else, yeah, she she ain't gonna. Yeah, she ain't gonna be there. Yeah, even though you know all those things that they have out in the crowd where they're running up Vince McMahon's light bill uh, at his performance center. Um, right. Yeah. It's, yeah, she don't care about all that. She she she, she like, uh, yeah, well, I'm gonna be at home. I'll watch it at home too. <laughs> yeah, or or they could or what they could do, they can bring back um, uh, Oscar's um, what was her friend name? The one that, the one that um had left the company. Probably, I think her contract. Is oh, five. the one that's in Japan right now. Yeah, maybe they could do that, but I doubt that would happen. Um, well, you know what? That would be cool, but the thing is, she she works for uh, the performance center in Japan. Oh well, take that back. 
Yeah, you know, you know, they opened up that uh, the Japan Performance Center. So she she's part of the Japan uh, Japan Performance Center. She teaches the rest the wrestlers in Japan. Gotcha. Well, we'll see you tomorrow night, eight seven central. Well, seven seven. Well, let's see, seven central time, eight o'clock Eastern Standard Time, which is my time tomorrow night on uh, TLC. Uh, make sure that you all like, comment, and subscribe to all my videos. Check out uh, the most recent ones, um, which are up to date of this year. Um, just want to thank you all for all the support that you all are doing. Also, make sure that you uh, invite, you know, go to my wrestling group. Uh, it's called Chris Wrestling Group on Facebook. And um, I will also be posting news and maybe posting videos there. Um, thank you all for everything y'all do. Happy holidays, happy Kwanzaa, whatever you want to call it. And I'll see y'all in my next video. Thank y'all for watching me.